Hey, what's up, everyone? JT here. Welcome to Pineapple Money, where I talk about stock, market news, and investing for the long term portfolio. I just wanted to make a quick update video today on NEO today, since they do have uh, the new battery being released today, and I'll talk about more of that in later in the video. And I also do want to say that NEO finally had its first red day after a sensational and parabolic week for NEO. And what I mean by a small red day is that NEO barely and almost had a 2% down today compared to the entire week where it's been jumping 5 to 10% each day, which is insane. I mean, even our boy, Elon Musk, mentioned something about that. In his tweet yesterday on November 5th, he did say that 420 is 10 times better than 42, which I'm thinking he's referencing to Tesla stock right now. Tesla stock is trading around $420, while NEO is only trading around 42 give or take. So I think it's kind of funny for him to mention that. And also for investors, maybe I would say that Elon is acknowledging Neo as a company, as an EV company for Tesla to face and compete against in the future. And also maybe some investors do say that maybe this is a acknowledgement for where people to put their money. But, you know, you can only give or take what people say about that. But I can do say right now that Tesla is has a market cap about $400 billion, while Neo is only at $56 billion. So almost 10 times as much. So in general, I would say Neo still has a long way to go if it wants to meet and reach Tesla. Now, before I do forget, um, in this video, I will go over Neo's technicals. Then I'll head into Neo's battery news for the day. And also, I'll just kind of give my thoughts on Neo where I see it for the future. Also, if you do find anything interesting in this video, please don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe for more content. Also, let me know down in the comments what you did today with Neo. All right, let's get started. All right, so right now, I'm just looking at NEO's technicals right now. It is currently November 6th, and the market is still open. I think there's still about 30 minutes left. But as you can see right here, market right now, NEO is trading around $41.47. And previously, I did draw some trend lines for NEO, as you can see, and they are pretty much following this channel upwards. And it looks like even today when they're trading, they are following within this channel still, still up right above it. And as you can see, NEO did jump up in the after hours yesterday, but they dropped down about, let's see, 2% from what I saw before. And I did draw some support lines for NEO right here at the 32 mark, 36 and 39. Um, I do believe there's some support right now at the 39 as it is consolidating around this area and $40 as well as you can see. So I believe personally, this actually is kind of a good sign on the technical side that NEO is starting to consolidate. And I would like to see some more consolidation in the future so that I can maintain this price point unless um, somehow some callus does make it drop more. So I think it's actually a good sign to see. And you see there is a lot of volume today as well. I would say actually even more volume than yesterday. There's a lot of more red candles. So people are taking profits, which I think it's a smart choice just because of Neo's fast run up of this entire week. So even though Neo did drop down with a small red air of 2%, this isn't a lot. And that's a good thing for Neo in the future. All right, let's continue onwards with the news. So today, NEO did release their 100 kilowatt hour battery. And from what I understand, NEO is currently working with Contemporary Amprex Technology Limited, which is CATL, which is actually one of the biggest battery manufacturers in the world based in China. Tesla also uses them for the Model 3s in China as well. But as you can see, NEO is now announcing their 100 kilowatt hour battery and also regarding their upgrade plan. So this is kind of the press release as we look through right here. But now their one kilowatt battery is in their lineup and i would say that their plan for this 100 kilowatt hour battery is for users who want to buy the car can now buy it with this 100 kilowatt hour battery improvement and also those who actually use neo's own bas program which is neo's battery as a service subscription and for anyone who doesn't know neo has thought of another way to sell the vehicles so i know in the united states we have this mentality where we want to have ownership of a physical thing such as cars um, now neo's baas program is a unique way where consumers can just buy the shell of the car and just pay per use for the battery i think a good example of this is actually when you maybe buy a film camera and you're buying the camera itself but you also still need to buy the film. So you pay per use in a way. Very similar concept, but Neo's also offering that batteries now to be swapped out of the car. And I would say some pros of this is that let's say Neo does decide to offer a bigger battery, like today, the 100 kilowatt hour battery, uh, compared to Neo's own previous 70 kilowatt or 84 kilowatt, you're able to jump up and buy into this improvement if you want to. And you probably have to pay a little more for this, but you might think it's worth it. 
And when you buy the car initially, I believe Neo does sell the car for about ten thousand dollars or less USD. So this is a, kind of just a hard estimate, but don't take my word for it. But it is cheaper to initially buy the car. And also, when you do decide to buy into the subscription, you're pretty much you're buying it pay per use. So you can actually just charge the car normally, I believe, or also just swap out the battery whenever you need a fresh battery within five to seven minutes, which is actually faster than charging. So I do think this is actually an interesting concept for Neo to have in their lineup, especially their B A B A. Oh my gosh, my tongue twisters, but B A A S program, and honestly, something that is not really offered in the United States at all. So in terms of pricing, uh, Neo does say it right here. In regards to the 100 kilowatt hour battery, um, for people who do want to buy the car itself. Um, it is running for RMB 128,000, which is in USD. That's about uh, $19,360. And those who do want to buy the car monthly, or sorry, rent the battery monthly subscription, which is about 1,480 RMB, which is about 223.85 per month for the subscription. So Leo, Neo is also looks like they are also taking pre-orders starting November 7th, which is actually tomorrow. So that's a great news for uh, Neo. Now, let me give my thoughts about Neo. So I think right now Neo is actually showing signs of improvement by giving a selection of a higher battery density, which is a great thing for consumers who actually want to use them. And I would say this is actually a sign of strength for Neo because Neo is trying to go right now and reach higher margins as well as more revenue. So offering a higher selection battery and possibly selling that with a higher margin. That's great news for Neo. And in my personal opinion about Neo's price action today, I am kind of surprised that Neo's sell off wasn't actually bigger than it is today because Neo did end off with a negative 1.7, which isn't too much. I would say this is actually kind of normal for a stock, but in the morning, Neo did sell off from 42, $43 all the way down to $40, which is about, that's a big drop off, maybe about five to 8% or something like that. So, but Neo did, of course, towards the end of the day to start to gain up some more. So I would say in general, I think right now, given the context of Neo, how it's run up so much, 32% in one week, and you can see in the, in the previous technical analysis that Neo did have a lot of selling volume today, that there are a mix of investors for the long term, as well as traders who are trying to profit off this and skim off the top. As I'm sure right now, Neo is pretty much a really big hype stock right now for a lot of people, and there's a lot of bullish sentiment around this stock. So it's one, either investors here for the long term or two, traders who are planning to probably take profits along the way towards NEO's next catalyst, which is NEO's earnings date, which is November 17th. So I think that's important to consider, especially if you're an investor, because that day will probably just give more context to where NEO stands. So in general, I would say that NEO has been doing amazing so far, and definitely I am glad the position I do have right now. It's a decent sized position. I do want more and looking to pick up some more shares along the way. But anyone who did pick up shares previously before this hype, props to you guys. But you guys got in way before anyone else did. But in the future, I am glad and I'm excited to see what Neo has to offer in the future. All right, so this kind of wraps up my video on Neo. If you did find anything interesting in this video, please don't forget to hit that like button down below and comment below what you thought about Neo's battery day release or anything about Neo in general. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.